Bye, Greg. That's Greg. He's taking the big boys off for a treat.
What was that, Megan? Huh? I can't hear you. Take a picture of the room. Dad, I want to see through the camera. I'll let you see through it in a minute. Okay, this is the house. You want to be on camera for a second there? There you go, Daddy. Daddy. Steve up there. What 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 is that of Steve right there? That's Steve's behind. That's Janine up there. And Amy. Yeah. <laughs> 
the big girl. But, uh, try to do oh, your thing. So you know. We probably uh, are going to need all the help we can get on this program. So we're going to ask Sam and be a doll for prayer for us to get started. Which one? You. Inside. Dear Father in heaven, we bow our heads before thee this day and offer our gratitude to thee for our many blessings. We especially thank thee for the restored gospel and we thank thee for the many opportunities that are given us to be of service in thy kingdom. We're grateful for the opportunity that we have to be here as a family to renew old relationships and to cement new ones. We thank thee for Grandma and Grandpa Timmy, and the great love that they show for us and that all of us share with them. We ask thy blessing to be upon this group and this reunion this, this evening, that all might go well, that all might be keeping in, in keeping with thy mind and well. And we say these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 To get this thing going on a rousing start, we're going to turn it over to Greg Palmer to lead us in a family song. All right. These are. Okay, get one of these, and then we'll show you what goes with whom. Handouts? Hey, he's organized. Okay, you guys have to share. You three boys, They're on their own. All right, different verses go for different groups, okay? They'll get to you. Aren't there enough? No. No, you guys have to share. Get enough. Favorite song, right? Wait. Can anyone or anyone? <laughs> All right, you can see the the first one. Everybody sings number one, okay? And then you move to the chorus. Number two is just for us who are the in-laws. Number, okay? one's number one's at the bottom. Number one's at the very bottom, okay? <laughs> number three is for all the grandkids, all right? It'll be 17 now. Number four is for everybody again, okay? And it's to the tune of Yankee Doodle. Wait a minute. Oh, Do you remember? Am I in Canada or an no, ally? No, 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 just, I mean, it's just for us so who have married. So we were wrong yesterday. The <laughs> just for us who have married a Tammy. What is the chorus, anyway? Up at the top. Okay. It's up at the very top. Okay. okay. All right. You remember the tune to Yankee Doodle? Thank you. Now, honey, go over that again. Number one, who sings? Number one is everybody. Everybody sings number one. And then sing the chorus. And number two is for anybody who married a Tenny. Number three is for the 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 seventeen, for the fifteen grandkids. Yes, and for Janine and Grant. Instead of fine fifteen, instead of fine fifteen, say seventeen. And then the chorus, and you sing the chorus after each of these, of course, and then four is for um, for everybody again. All right, and then the chorus. Are you ready? Okay. Or are you going to pitch it for a moment? Kind of higher, because the chorus gets real low. Okay. Oh, no, in. In this family, you can see we have more fun than in.
stand up here. All right, next on the list, Jim and Diane and Janine and Grant. Okay, this is a, a five-part skit. And one of the thing it requires audience participation in as much as you have to have a very vivid imagination. So, <laughs> looking at for all of you for that. This is uh, adapted from uh, a Boy Scout skit that, uh, uh -oh. <laughs> that I wrote. So in, so in some cases the names have been changed to protect the innocent. It's uh, the name of it is the biography of Chewy Bazooka, <laughs> or. The Life of a Piece of Bubblegum. <laughs> this is scene one. We're in Brown's Corner Grocery Store, and Mrs. Brown is standing behind the glass counter that contains all of the delights, delights of a young boy. Candy, Tootsie Pops, baseball cards, and bubblegum. Bazooka bubblegum. A young boy <laughs> enters the store with one shiny penny to spend. What does he buy? You guessed it. A piece of bazooka bubblegum. This wasn't any ordinary piece of bubblegum. This was Chewy Bazooka. The young boy unwrapped Chewy and popped him in his mouth. End of scene one. <laughs> scene two. The young boy soon tires of Chewy and spits him out on the sidewalk. Along comes Dapper Dan the lawyer man. <laughs> Chewie was right in his path. Yep, you guessed it. Chewie was now on the hill, heel of Dapper Dan, the lawyer man. Chewie was quickly discovered by Dapper Dan at a nearby bench at the bus stop soon became a resting place for Chewie. <laughs> End of scene two. Scene three, enter Mrs. McGillicuddy <laughs> on her way to town. Down she flopped on the bus bench. <laughs> Chewie now knew what it was like to have the weight of the world on him. <laughs> I didn't even have to put up the cue card last time. <laughs> it wasn't too long before Mrs. McGillicuddy's bus came. Chewie was almost, almost caused her to stick around and wait for the next bus. <laughs> However, Mrs. McGillicuddy, with some difficulty, managed to come to a parting of the ways with Chewie. She boarded her bus, leaving Chewie on the curb. <laughs> Scene four. Enter Mr. Smith, whose Model T has broken down right at the very spot. Come on in. <laughs> right at the very spot where Chewie has been resting. The Bangnita wire keeps falling off. Yep, you guessed it. Chewie is finally going to become useful. <laughs> Mr. Smith put Chewie to work holding the Magneto wire. Chewie never thought... <laughs> Chewie never thought that working conditions would be so bad. Hot and dusty and no brakes. Chewie did not want this type of life and soon fell by the wayside. Scene five, the final scene. Enter young boy. Yep, you guessed it. Life comes full circle. Chewie was right back where he started.
Then suddenly he bared his teeth, he sank them in her face, and everyone that standing close jumped quickly back a pace. I know you think that I'm a brute, and I confess I am, that had my mother punished me, I might have been a man. Had she just spanked me on my rear when I first stole a toy, I might have led an honest life which we both could enjoy. But now I must go forth and die, and trembling meet my God, because she never chastised me, she always spared the rod. Be able to spend all your money, be able to do whatever you want. 